so uh this is all about me i just don't have like much of time like just hurrying uh so this is an overview what uh, i will be uh, speaking all around like what is geodata uh, what is uh, why is it important uh, geodata for solutioning complex problems one of the complex problem we have already uh, seen the just uh, speaker uh, just so uh, one of the complex problem we already have uh, seen uh, the speaker just before uh, me uh, so that's one of the major issues uh, in the government side there are a lot of other uh, complex issues uh, which geodata can solve open uh, geodata projects which is happening in our around uh, world then how to democratize the uh, data through the open data projects so uh, what is geodata geodata is not just maps it's not just uh, socio economic data location data or uh, natural uh, or the environmental phenomena such as rainfall or uh, temperature it's all uh, any data any data which is uh, having a, lo a location component or a geographical component is called as a, is considered as a uh, geodata technically what are the uses uses like uh, we have already seen like navigation the very uh, basic inf uh, use of it point a to point b navigate then logistics uh, how to transport uh, your uh, goods from a to b distance measurements how long it is uh, it takes me from here to the railway station country and town town planning but uh, one of which we have already seen uh, just before asset calculation taxation uh, for the government purpose disaster management one of the uh, major application goes here uh, once a disaster uh, happens how can we uh, manage the disaster emergency response then such emergency conditions uh, how we, how do we respond how can we uh, effectively respond how can we get prepared then data visualization and uh, representation so we uh, nowadays see a lot of maps around like uh, giving a lot of tabular data being transformed into maps then geo uh, geospatial analysis uh, it's a, a bit of research uh, finding uh, solutions or uh, problem uh, problem statements can be solved uh, with using uh, various geospatial analysis and the major one like the booming one in the industry is uh, business analytics so uh, if a warehouse has to be planned for any uh, Uh, franchisee or where the franchisee has to open a showroom where they can uh, open their uh, shops or the warehouses or like you can see uh, the uber and uh, ola people like uh, they are like the online cabs or the food delivery people like they uses it very well so why uh, why is geodata so important is so this is an example like uh, the table uh, right over there is the same information which i have transformed there in the uh, district like district wise uh, rainfall uh, forecast so uh, during like uh, 2019 like after like 2018 and 19 we uh, in kerala we had uh, uh, two big floods so during that time the rainfall uh, intimations was given by the imd in that format like uh, high to low low to medium like it's too complicated uh, for a normal person to understand so uh putting that the same information in the format of map making it uh, easier for people to understand just in a glance so that is one of the power of geodata so here the uh, geographical component is the district and uh, what the uh, rainfall and things are so just clubbing both uh, layers together another thing this is one uh, faster we can see uh, there are two different maps and a table a big table uh, which is a part uh, which i have uh, made from the census data so those census data like the proportion of uh, two wheeler and uh, four wheeler uh, having in each ward ward wise uh, in a corporation or the population density in a corporation so in order to identify that uh, from the table it's very difficult for a uh, person or it's a uh, laborious or time consuming work it's just a uh, ward here like think of a uh, country level or a district level so it's too much more complicated right so bringing into the form of a uh, maps make it uh, work easier complex solutioning uh, like i would like to tell like how this all started is uh, 
uh, long back in uh, while the cholera outbreak in uh, London. So uh, one of the uh, doctor has mapped the. Uh, they were the government was uh, had no clue in how to uh, where the cholera outbreak is starting from, and. Uh, what they did is like the doctor, uh, jo uh, Doctor John Snow, uh, mapped the houses where uh, the cholera has been affected, and he uh, identified the st uh, it, uh, the concentration is concentrated uh, of the cholera outbreak is on a street, and when he uh, further analyzed uh, or came to the street and asked uh, talk with the people, then he came to know that all of them uh, are having a common water source. So uh, then he tested the water of that uh, public well and came to know that that is the um, first source of uh, cholera outbreak. Similarly, like uh, in the case of uh, whatever, the, this is a disease uh, table uh, according uh, to uh, uh, WADWISE, if you see, uh, you are combining that data with the geodata that is the map layer of WADWISE map, and you are uh, just plotting it in a chloroplet, uh, so wherever the high, uh, the, so can uh, see a clustering. So in the tabular format, uh, the clustering and the relation you cannot uh, identify. So here you can see a uh, clustering has happened. So uh, below we can see a clustering. The top you can uh, see a clustering. Here there is a clustering and there is uh, less uh, over here. Then again, uh, adding uh, more layers to it. So I am adding a water layer to it. Uh, so like you can there is a you can see a lot of uh, similarity between the clusters. All the clusters are uh, concentrated. Uh, near to the water bodies, right? So uh, that is an insight which uh, we, we can act upon. And still we can see two uh, clusters here and here uh, and here. So if you add a, a hospital layer and uh, the medical college is situated over here. So that is another insight. So this is how uh, we uh, identify the root cause of a problem and uh, go deep dive in, uh, into the uh, complex problem solving. So open data projects, well, this is one of the largest and the biggest uh, open data projects which is happening over the uh, around the earth. Like uh, ESA, the European Space Agency's uh, satellite mission, that Coper Copernicus mission, they have around seven, uh, seven types of satellite in, into like uh, 10 number of satellites. Uh, observing the entire Earth in like six different categories and providing 10 meter resolution data uh, free of cost. They do uh, in that, uh, they do have a, a microwave data which is considered to be a costlier data. So uh, every uh, like every day like 16 terabytes of uh, data is being uh, generated and they all the data is being uh, available for free for public to and researchers to use. Another open, biggest open street map, uh, map uh, the biggest project is open street map, uh, which is also free. Uh, like uh, you all know about uh, Google Maps, and this is the uh, post version of Google Maps where you can edit as wiki, you can uh, use the maps. So uh, it's a web map, uh, it is uh, freedom, uh, you can download the data and you can continue uh, using the, as it is also a community project. So democratizing, uh, com uh, coming to the last part, like how to democratize the part. So there is a common misconception that keeping it open, uh, the access is uh, democratizing the data. No, it is not democratizing the data means it is not ma uh, giving the uh, data as uh, open access or uh, giving the access. So the concept of uh, democratizing the data is uh, the culture should be there, the open data culture. The, that we need to develop, the uh, quality of the data need to be ma maintained, the tools uh, for using the data uh, should be al available, and the ease of availability of the data. So this is one of the projects which uh, we worked uh, in Kerala, uh, which is the first uh, participatory mapping uh, which uh, we had conducted, like in, uh, it we conducted twice in 2014 and 2018. Uh, like the government, uh, the local panchayat over there uh, comes forward for us. Then this is one of other uh, tool which uh, which is under alpha. You can go to the uh, link and see like all the uh, information in the open street map uh, category wise. Uh, we you can uh, download it uh, from uh, Map Kerala.
so the it's one click or a couple of click uh, you can download the data which is more uh, making it uh, this is the comes into the part of tools another thing like uh, again uh, com uh, working uh, collaborative with a uh, government authority like it's uh, if the data is not being in use uh, then the updation will not happen if there is no updation in the data then there is no point in uh, keeping it open or uh, holding the data so once the data is uh, doesn't have the validity we don't have we don't it's there is no point in uh, having the data so uh, we conducted a, a project uh, comparing with uh, iit palakkad another uh, project we did in kerala again uh, with uh, this is a, again a funded project which we did with uh, bus map um, bus map route uh, and that's all like I, my time is over like i will be around here yeah Any any questions? I have been a bit uh, in a hurry, so I'll. Any points I need to clarify more or any projects? No, uh, the project in the bus route of pro, uh, that was a funded project. So uh, they had a, a project on rationalizing the bus routes over there in uh, that Kochi. So we mapped around uh, 22,000 uh, uh, kilometers uh, uh, and we mapped uh, made it into open license. Uh, we directly mapped it to o OSM. So that was not chosen by us, but uh, the people, the com commercial uh, users uh, who were need in need of uh, the mapping or the data, like approached us and we worked for them and made the data available. Yeah, the that's a point like a uh, giving the data or giving the access to the data doesn't uh, solve the issue. So we have to make a person or the people, uh, the citizen, uh, to make uh, feel the free ease of uh, using it. So it depends on person to person and the complexity of the data. I'll be around here uh, if or in the open data desk uh, also you can uh, meet me around if anything. You